Summer of love. Woo! You might notice a little background noise. We need a fan today. Yeah, we gotta have the fan on. I don't give a shit about the audio, guys. Sorry, sorry, our technical guy. He's been helping us out over at Robot Master Studio. He's been helping us a lot. But that fan, it's gotta roll, man. It's too hot. Now. Has to, has to. We gotta do, what we gotta do. You, we gotta do what we gotta do. That's right. So how you doing tonight, Cap? You look pretty good. I'm all right. It's summer. I'm, I'm relaxing. I'm on vacay, but. Let's get it out of the way. There was another mass shooting. Another one. Seven people died. It was in Highland Park. Jesus Christ. Tattooed white boy freak face. This shit's got to stop. It has to stop. It, it, you know. Gotham's never seen this many shootings in such a short time frame, right? Like, no. It's no. It's, events, it's, like, it is definitely like something those that's aren't wrong the with venues. the mental health of this world. They're not the venues for killing. They're really not. I don't want to rehash everything we said in the last episode, true, so if yeah. you want to know how we Let's feel, Let's watch episode 24, please. Let's Thank progress. you. We're going to hate wild turkey. Well, all right, all right, Robin, Robin. What we got, what we got, what we got, what we got, Barb? Uh, well, you know what's going on. You know what's going on, Captain. What? The same thing that's always going on, uh, Tyrants. Elon Musk. Oh! He's, uh... Musky you know, bitch! Well, you know how he was all with the 44 <laughs> billion gonna buy the Twitter thing? Yeah, yeah. Remember that? Remember that? Yeah, yeah. He, like, basically just, like, didn't, and then kind of just bashed that company. But now Twitter's uh, suing Elon Musk in September coming up, guys, so uh, pay attention. Yeah, it's gonna So, wait, he told him he was gonna buy it. So he. Oh, he, deval he devalued the stock! Yeah, it's basically like when. Uh, Cock sucker! Yeah, it's like when WWE was on trial for steroids. It kind of debunks your, the value of the company. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to side with Twitter on this one. Yeah, they might actually I'm have to win. Side with we'll find out. But we'll find out. But that's coming up, guys. It's coming up. You actually, know, this fan's money. working good. We might have to get another one. Marco, can you order another fan of those? Amazon, Marco Polo, Amazon. Try to find it on eBay. I hate Japanese. News. Yeah. Fuck. Sorry, 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 sorry. Progressing. I'm on vacation. I'm sorry. Yeah, you're on vacation. It's time to relax. Vacation. Mode. Time to relax. Summer of love. Summer of love, baby. Uh, we do not have uh, Randy's nursery rhymes this evening, folks. No. No. Not. He's in Cocoa Beach. Oh, at least he gets to relax. He's in Cocoa that's Beach. Like, he's I'm watching the sea turtles or some that's shit. Good. I don't know. That's good. Actually, happy about that one. So that's all I got. That's all I got on uh, uh, Randy's situation. Oh, okay. He did say uh, to tell all the kids watching and everything like that. Um. There's a new story coming out next when he comes back. It'll be good. That's what is that what he said? Yeah, the, Randy's in Coco Beach. Hope you'll figure it out. What else we got? Whoa, whoa! That was a good one. It was. And I know. dig it. You know what wasn't good? <laughs> Apparently, when you're on like this platform long enough on YouTube or these social medias, the robots like analytically figure out what's wrong with us. And they. <laughs> yeah. They figured out that, uh... Dude, I put my shrink out of business! Yeah, episode uh, 5, Fuck the Bat. We got, like, totally flagged in France. What? Nobody in, um, 12 French territories can watch episode 5. Oh, that's they, bullshit! Yeah, here we go. We got, uh, me, France, uh, French Guiana, Martinique, St. Martin, France, Polensi. I'm not saying some of these right, but guys... French um, Polynesia? We didn't have a very good education system in Gotham. Uh, no, this we do not have the best education here, Mayetti, it looks like kind of like a machete. Reunion, <coughs> uh, St. Pierre, St. Marvelin, uh, Guadalupe, I think was a sauce. Oh, I yeah, because that sounds like a legitimate French territory. No, these are all real territories where you can't watch episode five, guys. So if you're watching this, be happy you're not French. And, and if you aren't French, we'll try to figure something out. We'll load up some DVDs of the show in a plane and try to drop them in the jungle or so whatever. That's true. But, and it looks right. like we got French Southern Territories. Oh! Um, Wallace and Futana Street. So if you live around the corner, apparently, from Futana Street... From, from, from Futana Street? On the yeah, Avenue yeah, yeah, yeah. or something on a boulevard, you can watch episode five. But who cares? You don't got to watch all our episodes. Who cares if they can't watch one? You know what's episode? amazing about all that you listed, Robin? What's that? I was in all those places in World War II. You're fucking with me. <laughs> I don't remember doing too much 
damage. Were you really there? Maybe in French Polynesia I did some shit that I shouldn't have done, but that's about it. You messing with me? No, you, you I was there? Old, no, that's why they, that's probably why I got flagged or banned or whatever the fuck they call it. <laughs> yeah, blacklisted. Well, now it's like backlisted or something. You can't say the black word. Jesus. Well, no, no, speaking of being blacklisted, like uh, some people in Hollywood, I am blacklisting peaches. I love I mean, I summer. Love, I love peaches. Don't blacklist peaches. Peaches. Beaches. Yeah. Oh, oh. oh. I like beaches too. Why are you blacklisting beaches? You because in Long Island, New York, there's been shark attacks. Oh, cool. I love sharks. I, yeah, well, I love them too, but I'm not going, I'm not swimming with them. There wasn't shark attacks. I'll swim with the gators, but not the sharks. They always say that. Who did they attack? Was anyone hurt? Bullshit. Yeah, some woman was severely injured. They ripped her leg apart. It was a thresher really? shark, I think. Whoa. I have to look that up on YouTube. No, I'm telling you, they're coming. I'm taking my flip flops off. It's summer vacation. Be careful. I didn't know it was real. Marco, heads up this shit! Oh! <laughs> did you get those flip-flops at Wildwood? Uh, I think I did it. I like it. They got the, the red and the white. It says, matches. Mor it says Maury's on it. I was wondering if you got it from Maury's Yeah, Maury's Beer. That's cool. Isn't it under the water now? But that wasn't where the Comment sharks... Comment below. The sharks were like farther up north in Long Island, right? Yeah, which means there's... They're probably there in the south, Those too. pictures, they were showing up on the beaches. With Sharks me. scare the shit out of me, man. They're my biggest fear. That's why I like them. Um, their livers were torn out in those pictures. Oh! Yeah, pull it up. Yo, Polo, do we're something. Seeing, seeing, Jesus. We got, we got, yeah. You haven't even made eye contact the whole show. We're like dead space yeah, guy, here. Come on. This. They clearly, like, whatever was hunting that, the orcas and killer whales, they uh, pulled the livers out of these fucking things. Yeah, it's pretty gross, right? But actually, what's interesting to Nature me... Nature is brutal, folks! We brutal. created, like, things. Much like war! It's true, it's true. We created things, though, over time. Um, even in early times, like the early 1900s, PCBs, or, like, uh, these sanitizers that were really toxic and bad for the environment and universe... Oh, I thought you were talking about, like, TCBY or something! No, no, I thought that, it was a good, like, yogurt or something! No, this oh, is a bad yogurt. Oh. This is, like, chemical manufactured by guys like Bill Gates and stuff. And then, basically... It was in algae, and then little things ate it, and then those little things were eaten by the fish. Oh! And then the fish were eaten by the killer whales and the orcas, and basically this chemical is what's making killer whales go extinct. This da, 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 it's no humans different, are like, fucked. Yep, basically, and and I think that was the original premise. That's what Sea World's supposed to be, man. It's supposed to be a sanctuary to take these animals that are going extinct. Right, and you have, right. You have scientists extract... Well, you're supposed to breed them and put them back in the well, ocean, Well, you have right? to have the scientists put them in captivity and extract the fucking chemical cancer from it and then have them yeah, procreate the that and then grow release because all that's out there is the chemically induced, like, they're just repercussions of the chemical. That no! The they're all going to go extinct. All I'm saying, all those you guys... people have fucked this planet! You yeah. don't deserve and it And all those guys, point. if you love Elon Musk and Jeff Hi, Bezos, you, you guys are wrong, man. Those guys don't care at all about animals or us or in the environment. If they did, they'd be like... Using they would some be helping other, us yeah, or use, the environment! Use some of your resources for that. Don't fly through chemical fields to go to Mars in a dirt what planet was it? to make Musk it to was Mexico? just doing... It was on his yacht. He was renting it for 7000 a day! Yeah, he's worried about the Dutch throwing fucking deviled eggs at him. I'm no, talking... We're, let's we're talking about Musk. Oh, okay. I'm Musk sorry. was renting a yacht for $7,000 a day, and he mm. just... I don't know. A guy like that shouldn't be on a yacht with his shirt off. The cures the the for cancer, guys. I can do it! Are in the bottom of the ocean. That's all I'm trying to say. They're in like jellyfish and octopuses that have been around since the dinosaurs. Humans are the the ins. The, we're parasites to this world. The amount of garbage and gasoline. I mean, think about how much you throw away in a year. Just you. Just you. You. Just you. We are an now, animal. Now times that by billions. We are an you animal dicks. like no other cat. I assure you that we're just like this. Like we're like no other. Reusable. Shopping bags are part of the answer. Are they? That's not gonna save the world. Fucking. It's shopping gonna bags. help get the plastic out of the thing. What's gonna help is eliminating these fucking tyrants. But we kind of are trying to aspire to be one. And there's no so reason we can't use glass concerning. bottles like we did back in the old days with Coca-Cola and stuff. We always had glass bottles, and you know what they used to do with it? I'd love if there was a guy in town. Crush it up, melt it, put it in asphalt. Huh. Why isn't there guys in town selling cocaine Coca Colas anymore? That, that was like oh, the there is. You just, it's just not legal. Right. <laughs> Always Coca Cola. Thanks, Reginald. 
always feel good going Oh, we got, we got, oh, Robin! Time for a segment, huh? New movie coming out, folks! New movie, got what's a next? Brand new trailer for you tonight! What is it? Oh, it's a biopic! What's that mean? Oh! What's it's biop- about, it's called Lone Star Rainbow! Okay. It's about the rise of the, the country band! What's biopic mean? But it's, it's, it's like a... A drama? No, a movie about that. Like... About science? Pearl Harbor was a biopic. I don't get, get it? it, Cap. I don't think... Forrest Gump! A lot, Wait, of no, us don't no, no, no. a lot of us didn't get a high school education. We were in the circus. What is biopic? I didn't get a high school education. I went in the army when I was 15. Well, if you shoot a gun, that's different. I didn't shoot a gun. I flipped. Many times. I didn't shoot guns either. I had the shield. Flipped many times. Like, backwards, flipped. But yeah, let's go to the... <laughs> pull, up, pull up the preview of this Lone Star, Lone Star Rainbow. Rainbow. Let's check it New out. movie. Let's check it out. This summer, experience the gayest cowboy tale of all time. Based on a very concerning true story. When East meets West, two men go against all odds to meet their physical needs. Putting a new meaning in there's no place like home. Two men go against their family's will to meet their own satisfaction. Love lies in the hands of the same sex. Forbidden pleasures come true. Prevails. Keeping a secret never felt so good. You're not really gay until you've seen this movie. Woo! Hey, honey, how you doing? Pretty good, sweetheart. Thank you. Long day. You did it always long day. Oh! Yeah, boy. Woo. And Billy said the crop should be ready by fall. But I don't think your father's ever going to be ready for our relationship. Well, the thing you learn about my father he doesn't like gay cowboys, he doesn't like red haired women. Ain't your mama red headed? I never actually get to yeah, That explains a lot. Yeah, I wasn't gay before I met him. No, I, it, it turned me. It turned me. He's like a. One of those vampires. For me, I've always been this way. This is just the way I was born. I don't, no matter how this goes down, I ain't gonna quit you. I'll never quit you. I appreciate you. I, never, I, I didn't start this band to be a gay cowboy. I started this band for all the gay cowboys. Right on, brother. Pleasures come true. How many did you turn before you turned me? I was, turn, I was like vampire. It is like gays are like vampires. Like you can, like you either born that way or you can turn them. So there's like, so you're basically a half breed. It, it, it don't matter how my father feels. It's how you feel, how I feel. It's about us. It's not about them. Yeah, they shouldn't even. They should be happy for us. Luckily, really. my father's not here to judge me. I'm sorry to hear that. I ain't sorry, because he'd be judging the shit out of me. His daddy's dead, he's allowed to talk about it. When I was three years old, I used to look at the J.C. Benny catalog. My daddy's gonna kill me. You look. I flip right to the men's underwear section. What men do in private is not for public eyes. Like, ain't that just the way, though, like... When you're done getting all the crops on and done with the work for the day, does it really matter where you put your private crops? I did the research. I read those three books we have, and... Don't let your daddy find those books. Yeah, it, it didn't say nothing about this. Yeah. You have breed. That's right. But you my breed. That's right. You're my breed and toy. Woo! Woo-hoo-hoo! <laughs> yeah! The relationships are about give and take and about trust. You think it's bad my daddy knows that? Well, he's either gonna deal with it or he's not. Yeah. That's just that's just it's a short skinny. It's on him. Man. Just, if he wants to be a cow pie about it, that's his problem, not mine. Two men 
one culture. No, I, I don't know anything about that. I haven't heard from daddy in a long time. I'm afraid to tell him. I heard from your daddy. I heard from your daddy, believe me. He chased me off in the lawn a couple of times. But you gotta live with him, so. For a little while. A little while. I'll get that dad fixed up. And then we'll get that fence fixed up. Yeah. Once this comes out, he sees it. I don't know. Teach is over, man. Teach is over, man. Or I gotta hang Teach my hat on you on that point. You're not. Teach is over. Got it. Keeping a secret never felt so good. You're not really gay until you've seen this movie. Putting a new meaning in there's no place like home. Takes about three years for a pig to be ready to chop up for breakfast, right? About three years, three years. and then sometimes three years, six months if it's, a, if it's a female pig. Sometimes the females get a little ornery and moody, and that's why I like men. And then he'll be okay with us being gay. You really think if we fix the fence, he'll be all right with our relationship? And the den. And, and the den. den. We we'll do the fence and the den. We'd have a chance if you made like uh, meatloaf. We got a plan there, love muffin. That's right, sweetheart. Most men don't like me, but I found the cows are trying to take here. the cows now. Like we can't even make cow like cow. I gotta hide them. I wanna have our own brand someday that we can our, our own, own meats. meats. Our own meats, yeah. yeah. Besides the meat we share with each other. Two men go against all odds to meet their physical needs. Jimmy and Johnson's. Jimmy and Johnson's, I like that. Yeah, I like JJ, JJ and Johnson's. We can make those yeah. breakfast sandwiches. Oh, oh really? That's more cheese and a stack of egg on there. Yeah. yeah. They don't want us having eggs, me either. I'm gonna stack some cheese on you. I'm gonna stack an egg, a hard boiled one. Mm. I think it's Easter up in here. The 2023 Best Work Hollywood Film of the Year. Lone Star Rainbow. That wasn't what I expected it to be, Cap. I thought it was like more of a... That looks both captivating and riveting! I think that's one of a kind, to be honest. You I think Cisco and Ebert are gonna give that two thumbs up the butt! You know what, let's go out. Let's go out <laughs> coming out, you know? We're coming out of that Coming closet. out! Hey! Come on out, baby! Hey. Woo! Pride! Pride's a wonderful thing to have, it's no matter what it month, is. For. Fuck it. Right? It will be next year, so let's let's get ahead of the curve on that. I'm all for that. Marco Polo, thanks for the rum little setup you got here. You are in with the summer theme. You guys are actually listening during staff meetings. Thank you. Fuck you, Polo. <laughs> oh. What do we got, Robin? What's up, Cat? Tell me a mansion story. Oh. I was just having, I was just getting comfortable making fun of Polo, and now we gotta go here, huh? Well, I wanna know, was there any, like, summertime antics at the mansion? No, it's good to go to a dark memory of your mind, to talk about it, to help yourself, like, be okay with how things are today. So we'll go there. You wanna go there? I want, inquiring minds want to know! Let's go. Let's go. We're walking down those hallways. It's not an occasion. It's not New Year's Eve. There's nothing going on. There's not a birthday party. There's nothing. It's a normal fucking Wednesday in, in, right. the, in the mansion. And you know what Alfred's wearing? What? The outfit from uh, Wizard of Oz. Oh! Dorothy. Dorothy! Whoa! Whoa! I thought he was Tin Man or some shit! No, he was Dorothy, and he basically had this basket and was trotting along through the halls of the manor. Through the mansion. This is a big manor. This is a big mansion. The place is fucking huge! Yeah, he I know! Was yeah! Sitting around whistling in this Dorothy outfit, and this is how I woke up that morning. Okay? There's many reasons why I moved out of this place, and believe me, this is one of them. Fucking thousands. Sounds like one of and many, dude. He's just skipping, Holy shit. you know, whistling. If I wish I could remember the whistle, and I kind of don't at the same time. But he was whistling, and I, that's what woke me. I woke up. I came out. I opened my door. I see him down the hall scampering around and shit, you know. And whatever. I shut my door. I locked that door again. I, kept, I kept that yeah. fucking locked, man. And it was fine. <laughs> I, I went back I, to what? bed. 
But then, uh, <coughs> when I went back to bed, like, a half hour into going back to sleep, I had a digital thing, like, come up on my wall. Of, it was Alfred's face, and he was pretending to be Oz. Somehow he figured Wait, out- Wait, like the- Yeah, somehow he figured Whoa! out how to put his face, like, in my room through, like- Look in the mirror! Okay. It was Whoa! something to like, understand- Wayne had like all the high tech devices, and even Alfred. Yeah, they had the tech to do He had it. so many tech devices that his butler had them and shit. Like before, I when iPads came out, Alfred had that like two years before they came out in the market. Alfred had an iPad. He would watch that like pornography on his iPad. Oh. Yeah, he used to call it the porn pad. Alfred is a sick fuck. He is but basically. We're on episode 25, and we're very proud of this it's, landmark achievement. And if you've been watching, you know, you got to know Alfred by now. This is, we're exposing a I'm monster sorry, here, folks. I'm sorry, guys. He's All, a monster. There's no good ending to the mansion stories. But basically, he came up on the teleprompter as the fucking Wizard of Oz guy, and he tried to lure me into his bedroom, like, thinking that... See, right there. Stop for a second, Rob. Just one second, Rob. Rob, Rob, Rob I never right, told Rob. anyone this, so you got to, like... Just stop for one second. All right. It's okay to be free and dress up and have fun and do that. Yeah. From time to time, I indulge in that kind of thing. Definitely. But when you start luring people to your bedroom, you've crooked you're flying in the sand. It's concerning. Go ahead. Sorry. I didn't it's say It's very it. concerning. And it's, in fact, a violation of the law, I found out later on, like shortly after. It should, yeah, as it should be. Right. Yeah. So, thank God for the law. Thank God for that. Like, Gotham, good law, good court system. I, I really like I hope that fucker gets put away, man. He's still yeah, like, but he's, he's free. But he, Wayne's backing him. That's why I don't have a chance, but I'm just saying, like, the, if you... the Yeah, you're right. Wealth, I guess, conquers law. If you have money, you can just do whatever you want. Hashtag fuck the bat. We're going to get a GoFundMe together. But his butler? Like, why would his butler have power? That's not right. Because he knows all of... You know, it's not like Bruce Wayne is any better than Alfred. Alfred knows all the stuff that we don't know. Come on, the dude's a creepy fuck. He's always sneaking around. Sense, he's got though. that boys. He's always squinty eyes. He's eyed. got the Dorothy dress. That's enough for me. If you found a Dorothy dress in a fucking straight white Caucasian male's butler closet, you start to question things. That's true. And Batman questions nothing. He just, oh, Alfred's a saint. I'm getting older. I'm starting to question things. Maybe, I don't know. And he kidnapped Leo. Fuck him. Yeah, he kidnapped everyone mentally. He kidnapped their hearts in the 90s. That's for sure. Kidding up their pride. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Next oh, yeah. topic. What? Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Paula, what the fuck do you want? You, We're mid-program here. Oh, you got... Oh, hold on. All right. Polo always messes up the rhythm. Don't give me the look. No matter what we do, Polo is messing up Aren't our rhythm. Aren't you fucking hot, man? God damn it, Polo. I'm sorry. No, I can't use the Lord's Dress like name. a fucking doofus in the middle of 100 degree heat, you bastard. Yeah, I gotta do like... What is this? Wait, what we got? What we got? Get rid of that shit. Maybe four. <sighs> yeah, I gotta get rid of it. All right, I guess, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna make a statement. Apparently, I said some hurtful things towards a Mr. Johnny Depp. Oh, yeah, that's right. Our video got taken down. Our video? Yeah, tell me about that, Robin. Isn't this a reoccurring theme for this episode that we keep getting videos like... Marking? Just get this letter. I, I, I guess I, I wrote it. Sponsored. Well, you're not allowed to free speech. This is the First Amendment. But what was it? Yeah, your Johnny Depp thing. That's right. Yeah. You, you said if Johnny Depp was German... He, he would, would sound, sound like, like yeah. 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 And that was a problem. And they banned him for that. So you're, you're pu this is a public apology. Don't All ban right, this. So yeah, Don't that. Ban this, this. Is, this is your public apology. We're sorry. And I'm sorry that you can't take a joke. Walk I'm on sorry excess. everybody's attacking comedians for no good reason. And Walk I'm lightly, sorry Kat. that uh, you don't know how to treat a woman. Usually. Oh, oh, oh. Usually. Oh. Oh. oh, Jesus. Usually I yell, I <laughs> love here, but we're kind of hooked up. The cap, uh... Wait, kinda... no. I'm dry. Oh, it is that time, right? I have good timing. When I'm... Bottles of love! Bottles of love! <laughs> what do we got? It what takes an got? alcoholic to know what time to drink. It. Fresh from Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania! Oh! Locality is my monstrosity. Da, 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 da. Is da, my... da, da, oh, you got me da, one. Da, You're such da, a gent. Wait, 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 wait. Robin, Robin. Shh. Twist it very slowly. Ooh, you can hear the little... Uh... Now hold it up. 
Fuck you guys! Fuck. Ah. <laughs> I didn't see it coming! You flinched! You flinched! That's oh, 10 push two of them. 10 yep. push ups! You flinched! Marco, you got off easy, but I'm gonna, I might throw the bottle at you, so. So, okay, yeah, uh, Mr. Depp, I apologize that the world cannot handle good comedy and uh, everybody's on the attack. Sorry, you can't take a joke. Depressed Isn't and angry the premise, though, and like... pussies. Are we not allowed to joke now? No, no, all right, let's get serious. Let's get serious. Robin, serious. Robin, Joke's Robin. over. Joke's all over. All right, Robin, give us some serious news. All right, it's time for some, time some, for some, some serious, serious news, folks. Some serious news. joke about anything. Because uh, we're all so sensitive. What's sensitive Sally. Oh, this one's fucked up. Yeah, we don't have to joke about this, actually. A uh, prosthetic person's hand ripped off. Uh, oh! Pull, pull this up, because you're so fun to make fun of. <laughs> there you go. Get this girl here. Oh! Yeah, her hand just pops right off. That's what I mean, these prosthetic people working out. It's, it's, Why is that so disturbing? There's no blood or anything, but it's creeping me the fuck out! Yeah, I don't know either. Like, I think this prosthetic is- This just started for us, guys. Like, I don't know if we should get too out But they're happening. They're out there. But yeah, kudos to them. But I'm just saying, like, fuck it! They're working out- My priority is this! Just like I said, you know, good old American, I can do it! That's what's some cyberpunk. To each his own. That's cyberpunk 2077 shit to me. Like, oh, I didn't even think about that. There, it's an army of cyborgs. Yeah, that's some cyborgs. Oh, you might as well get the robot to just do it. <laughs> bang, bang. Speaking robot. of, uh, bang. speaking of prosthetic limbs, Robin. Oh wait, wait, sorry. No comedy. Gotta be serious. Yeah, time to time serious. for the serious news. That's right. Nothing. No, no jokes. No, no jokes. No jokes. <clears throat> An alligator! No, two alligators in Florida killed an elderly woman who fell into a pond. That's kind of a joke. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny. If you don't know her, it's funny. Actually, but I'm sorry if it's your. <laughs> it's not cool. I wasn't gonna say it, but fuck you guys. What, the joke you fell is, in a pond and got eaten by alligators. Here's the joke. It's a gated community. Okay. Okay. So they had to remove these alligators and re. Are they pro I don't know if they killed them or relocated them. Hopefully, it was relocation. Apparently she watched the end of Lake Placid and got a little intrigued, no. right? Um, humans had the bright idea to say, Oh, this is a beautiful pond where dinosaurs have lived for millions of years. Let's put houses and a fence around it. Oh, you're fucking dumb. No. You, I'm sorry what, to the family on. of this woman that got eaten by alligators, sure. but when you move to Florida oh. and walk around ponds, you're subject to Mother Nature, dumbass. Jesus! So sick of Polo and Marco, dude. I got a quote! Trey Parker and Matt Stone! I love those guys. They're From cool. uh, that, uh, uh, no, I grew Team up on, America! I grew up on South Park, so yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not real good at accents, Robin, but I'm gonna try, okay? They're cool. All I can say is... Why is everybody so fucking stupid? <laughs> I like them guys. That, that wasn't awesome. a good Japanese, that wasn't a good Korean. They never did anything wrong, and they've been friends forever. Kudos to them. All right, next, unlike Marco and Polo, who have been, like, apparently related and not friends forever or helpful. <laughs> I miss those. <laughs> I think they... Have it does work. I use it a you lot. You've taken them. I've never taken. I, I did. I, I should probably start. I did. I told I got fucking piss cut drunk. And when you were in Nevada. And when I was in Nevada, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I took a Santa fell sober as a bird. I remember when fucking Spider-Man and I went to Nevada. <laughs> we got pretty fucked up. I've what, heard the story. What stays in Vegas... Stays in Vegas. What happens in what Vegas? What stays in yeah. Vegas happens in Vegas, Yeah, what baby. stays in Vegas happens in Vegas. <laughs> That's what happened that night with me and Spider-Man. Keep it quiet. Woo! I dig it. Hey, I got a piece of summer news here, Robin. Summertime. Paul Marco. Assistance. Technical advisor. Tech. Fuck off. Polo, bring this up. Billions. With a B. Billions of fireflies in an Indian wildlife reservation. Eey. Preservation. I think it's called a preservation. Okay. I don't know what it's called. I ain't Who's just kicking in? I didn't go to school and I never read a book. What's it called? Look at it, look at it. They've lit up this entire landscape. Look at that. That's beautiful. That's heaven on earth. Actually, I would pay. Remember when we used to run around and hit those with wiffle bats? I don't want to do that anymore. Right, because you're trying to save them. You look at that! If everybody could just look at it! Look at it! 
Man, 22 years ago. No, I, when I'm looking Cat, at that, 20, I don't feel like shooting anybody. I'm just saying 25 years ago, you and I were running around with wiffle bass hitting those things. And now you want to save them. It's pretty cool. You've grown. You've changed. Well, you've freezing. You know, most men who have been in the 40s and the wars and the racism and the blah, 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 fuck your human existence, didn't have the benefit of being frozen and thawed. Well, I so used... I was able to learn each generational and generational gap. And, and I, I used to kill. I love life. I don't Go kill ahead. insects Sorry. ever since like we got high. Like I officially don't kill. They might be my ancestors that weren't too good, you know. So, they were here before us, and the yeah. fossil record proves it. Yeah, just like those killer whales, man. Those orcas. They were. They saw the dawning of men. They were underwater, the orcas and killer whales, and they saw like Vikings and their ships like sinking down. They're like, all right. There's these guys now. And then there was, like, pirate ships. And then they sunk down with all the gold and the fucking sh fucking sheets and armors and all the outfits that were like, all right, there's, <laughs> there's these guys now. And then it got to the modern day of today in Gotham where there's just, like, oil tankers spilling over, like, we can't even breathe down here now. Like, Jesus Christ <laughs> almighty. Like, I'm telling you, these whales, <laughs> they're descendants. The orcas are descendants of dolphins, man. They've been around since just, like, they're like the sea well, turtles. Dolphins are they much nicer. I'm just saying, like, everyone, we should really learn from these things. Like, why are we, like, avoiding They're highly intelligent. They have why the, the fuck are we avoiding this? Like, the, the, I think scientists said they had the second largest brain, brain of any mammal. Like, my neighbor. What's the first? My neighbor has a huge brain that he has to wheel this cart around. Right? Yeah, he's really smart. His name's <laughs> Lupe. <laughs> oh! <sighs> Fucking Lupe. Yeah, he acts like he knows everything, but does he? Hey, Robin! What's up? That's good stuff! What's that? Sorry, I had a moment there! Were you daydreaming? What were we talking about? Crickets? No, daydreams are good. That's where good ideas come from. Uh, no, I think I passed Wait. out! Oh shit, that's not good. <laughs> yeah, Cheers! That's not good. I thought it was hey, good. My generation always says you pull off the horse, you get back on! They had to. There wasn't like cars, right? They had to like. So we had cars in the 40s! Not good ones, right? They like spit oil every two miles and you would stink and. Actually, environmentally, they were a fucking disaster <laughs> of an invention for human <laughs> beings. Were, You're right. right. Today You're right, it was like, a fucking disaster. It's folks. like with Jay Leno, he like gets one of those cars that just hawk oil every fucking quarter mile. Like, That's true, he's a wasteful son of a bitch, isn't he? Yeah, I feel bad for the insects with Jay Leno. Jay Leno and insects don't get along, I guarantee <laughs> Hey folks, episode 25, I love you. Comment below. Guess what me and Starfire just saw? What did you and Starfire see? Uh, Hit me with some we funny saw shit! We the summer movie Jurassic World Dominion. You saw it already? Yeah, it was awesome. Oh, oh tell, me, really, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. You should check it out. It's been out now, guys. It has everyone. It has Jeff Goldblum, the dude with the hat, that lady The from, Bloom! Yeah, the, da the, uh -huh. the dame from the David Lynch movies. It has Chris Pratt. It has the redhead from the other Jurassic World. Oh, Chris World. Pratt's in it! Yeah. Is he all right up? Every... I don't think I'm oh. it down a little. I like Chris Pratt. See how human it is here, folks? And, um, anyway, the whole movie was about these crickets. Stick into the paper! They were about crickets, Cap. It wasn't so much about dinosaurs as much as crickets. Wait, it, Jurassic it, World Dominion was about crickets? Yo! I hope they don't, um, end it, but I really thought it was a great addition to the series. Yeah, crickets, like, they were killing all the cornfields and they were eating everything but this, like, chemical biosyn, um, corn. That they weren't eating because the, the crickets even knew it was shitty or whatever. Oh! But it was I wonder if Cricket Man saw it. Cricket Man. I'm sure he did. I think it would blow his mind. Cricket Man, check out Jurassic World Dominion. Check it's it so out, Cricket Man. You know who you are. Out. Go there with your wife and check out that movie, man. It's crazy. <laughs> it was good. That is good. Oh! Hey! Other news, Robin! This is fucking interesting! What's that? Apparently! The one and only Jeff Daniels. Oh, I like him. He's cool. Yeah, he is. He's a cool dude. He did Purple Rose of Cairo. If you haven't seen that shit, watch that shit. It's different. I like it. Anyway, he's got a worm named after him. A worm? Yes. Get the fuck out of here. And you, much like our audience, are probably asking themselves, how did Jeff Daniels get a worm named after him? Yeah, how did he get a worm named Right? These worms apparently eat spiders. <clears throat> I like spiders. So they, they even gave it a scientific name. 
What's it called? Oh, well, let me see if I can say it! Hold on! It's not on my sheet. The only way a scientist can pronounce it is to get drunk! Why'd you keep it on my sheet? Tarantabilius Jeff Danielisi! Is that for real? That's, I'm, that's real news! That's Jeff not bullshit! Not bullshit! We're not supposed to be funny anymore because everybody's so censored! Tarantalinus, Jeff Danielensi. It's kind of sexy! Jeff Danielensi. It sounds like es exorcist shit. That's why I kept reciting it like I was exorcised. According to Fuckwad's notes here, uh, yeah, the scientist who discovered this spider eating worm is a fan of Jeff Daniels and the movie Arachnophobia. He is a fuckwad. And you're right. Arachnophobia was a great movie. Arachnophobia was awesome! You guys didn't see it's that. actually a summer flick, I would say, or is that more fall? I think that's uh, summer into fall, you're right. It's like September, August. That's a September movie! September. That's a September movie! Like it's a transition movies. piece, folks! Tarantulius. <laughs> Captain Six. America! What? what do we got? What do we got? Yeah. What? You want muffin? I cook four what? muffin. Captain Macca. It's a hundred fucking degrees. What's with the fucking muffins? Oh, I know. I know. You muffin know the trick. Muffin I got martinis. Okay, but here, here, four muffins. Learn how to make a mojito, you crazy bastard. No. No. Okay. The hell is wrong with this guy? He's fucking whacked, man. I, I can't. I love muffin too. Honestly, though, he helps our show like financially, and he gets a lot of good deeds. But like, that shit's getting weird. Man, I don't want to keep. Well, it's a hundred fucking degrees. I don't want a muffin. I'm trying to bring guests into the show and like other other characters who want to be with us, like superheroes. And like, I can't have him doing that shit when they come. Like, we're, plus we're, we're like in that superhero realm. It's not like we eat a ton of carbs, dude. That too. And like, this is season four. Like, how many more times do I have to do this with him until we bring someone right. in? Like, and is he only skinny because he's Japanese? Because a guy who eats that much muffins should be a fucking sumo wrestler. We should almost. He's an in shape dude. I think we're gonna put a camera up in that kitchen to see if he's even eating it. Oh. <clears throat> just be fucking. He's up. probably feeding him to the Serbian guard dogs. <laughs> we're on to you, Liu. I don't know, man. That guy is... Why am I pointing at the camera? Like, he doesn't watch this shit. He's, come, he's up there cooking fucking muffins. No, he just keeps watching those old Mr. Bean ones in, like, Deutsch. Like, not he even... He really likes Bean. He does. He does. I'm wrong with that. Creepy. All right, well, that's going to segue us into... Uh, I don't know how it's segueing, but it's we're moving on. Legends, folks! Legends never die. I hate to do it, but we gotta do it because we gotta pay tribute to the great performers and entertainers of our time, folks. That's right, because no other program seems, seems to pay tribute to the legends who die. You don't care about the people who inspire you? Right, you don't care Dicks. about art and the people who move your soul to live? Uh, move my soul to live. All right, we got, what we got, what we got, we got. Oh, Lenny Van Dolan. Oh, Jesus. Lenny Van Dolan, folks. <clears throat> Fucking legend, right? You, Twin Peaks. Twin Peaks, exactly. That's some David Lynch stuff. I like that. Right? David that's Lynch, you're right. You're right. He was right. That's right. Uh, he was also, uh, I never saw this, but very popular, the Orville. Oh, yeah. Everyone ever <laughs> talks about the Orville. I never saw it either. I never saw that one. Uh, he was in uh, Home Alone 3, where careers go to die. Woo, yeah. And, uh, what else did he do? Oh! I didn't know he was in that! What's that? He was in one of my favorites way back in the day! What's that? How to be a perfect person in just three days! I actually kind of want to do a remake of that, if that's possible. Netflix, like, if we could sign that up. Netflix, yes! We were willing to remake, uh, How to Meet Up and... What did, where the fuck I said? How to be a I perfect said. person in three days. Thank you, Robin! That's right, I'm listening. <laughs> What else we got? All right, well, sorry to the Ding family. Me. Oh, my bad. I wasn't Thank paying you. the fuck attention. James Conn. Oh. Really? James Conn? James Conn. Legend. That's it. Legend. That takes, that's that's a legend. The, why the hell was Lenny Von Dolan on the top, you dicks? Well, they don't, they don't know. Conn should have had the top spot. They're young. They don't understand. Young, dumb, and full of deaf mute. They haven't been around long enough to know. We can't be so hard on him anymore, Cap. It's really affecting our... No, it's not our... politically, yeah. No, it's not even that. It's affecting the monetization of our previous episodes. They can't even watch well, us in France. Because of these two idiots. Marco, I, I love you. Know you know it's their fault that we, they can't watch us in France. It's these fucking idiots. Well, I don't care about France. No, I don't care. It is your fault, Marco. 
That's all you ever do. Pussies. Fuck up our program. And you act like it's okay. Yeah, just keep it. Yeah, you dress like that. That's fine. Sorry. You watching this shit? Sorry. What's next? What's next? Sorry. Watch your step, Polo. No, Marco's the ringleader, so I have to go. All right, so we, no, no, uh, no disrespect, Legends. no Legends. disrespect yeah, yeah, yeah. to Mr. James Conn. Let's go back. Call These two Conn. fucks. Derailing. Actually, that was respectful to James Conn because we went off on him for not giving him top billing there. It's what they do. It's what they do. Famous for the Godfather. Oh, I loved Misery. Misery back to was the Godfather awesome. for a second. That's kind of... Come on, man. Eh. You don't like the Godfather? I'm not a fan. You like the Godfather? I'm not a fan. I, I used to deal Godfather. with real mobsters. The movies don't do it justice. I deal with the real life mobsters. It's different. The mo it's better than the movies, but it's also scarier than the movies. Show up on my daughter's wedding. You don't like the God? I like the Godfather. Ah, fuck your daughter. Fuck your mama. I like that movie. He also did a bulletproof with Adam Sandler. That's a great comedy. Who else was in that? Robin, you're good at this. Bulletproof with Adam Sandler? Yeah, who, what was his co-star? Oh, that was uh, the dude from uh, the Waynes Brothers. Damon! Yeah, Damon Damon Wayans. Wayans! And you know what's funny about that? What's the favorite part of that movie for you? When he pulls the joint out of his ass and lights the joint! Okay, that's funny because it's <laughs> He's close. Like, I had it in my ass! You want a hit? It's weird because that's kind of close to my favorite part. My favorite part was when he's like stuck in that window in the bathroom. Oh, what are, you, what are you saying, Whitney Houston? Yeah, I love that part. <laughs> if you haven't seen Bulletproof, check Watch it out. It it's folks. funny. It's really funny. I was surprised that Demon Wayne's and Adam Sandler didn't make I learned movie. that they could. They should make another at movie. At the box office. Yeah, I was surprised they didn't make another action comedy because it was pretty good. Yeah, Adam Sandler or Damon Wayne's. Contact the show. We'd love to talk to you about why you guys aren't working together because that yeah. shit was funny. We'll write it again. Even we want to know. Even if the movie's about the dog and you guys are co-starring with this that dog. hundred degree humidity bullshit. I still want to make Weekend at Bernie's 3 with Robin Williams. I know him. <laughs> he would like that. He'd love it. <laughs> I'm telling you. <clears throat> All right, sorry. Back to James Conn. He did all the Oh, my God. He was in that? He was probably so young, Robin, he did free me in the bean! I didn't see that one. You kids! Free me in the bean! Yep. Goggle it! I'll look it up. I'll look it up. You can goggle it, whatever the fuck you guys do. What else we got? We got a... Uh, oh, Joe Turkle! Joe Turkle died! Can you believe that shit, Robin? Can you believe that? We lost another one! Who's Joe Turkle? Oh! I don't know Joe Turkle, I'm sorry. The bartender from The Shining! Really? Yes! That's one of my favorite movies. Right? That guy's right. iconic. What He's else did he do? He did Blade Runner! Joe! I love Blade Runner. Are you fucking with me? Who is he in Blade Runner? I don't know. Wait, Harrison Ford, the classic I, one? That's not on here, you fuck! Yeah. Yo, I love Blade Runner and The Miami Shining. Miami Vice! Why don't I know about John Turkle? And Miami Vice has the best cameos of like almost any show ever. Watch that shit for free on Peacock. Miami Vice. Cool car! Great right, cool. cameos, but the rest of it is shit. It is, but it's cool. But, oh, Joe Turkle though? Like, Joe Turkle! Dude! 1949! Thanks for putting this on here, Marco! This guy was cool. He did Johnny Stool Pigeon in 49! I didn't see that. Ah! But Joe Turkle. Sorry, I'm not angry. It's just no. Joe Turkle's dead, and it sounds like he lived a pretty cool life. That's a pretty awesome list. The Shining alone, man. Like, and then Blade Runner. Blade the Runner. The Miami Vice. Those are two of my favorites, and that's and Johnny weird, Stool like, Pigeon. That's a weird bounce, and I like that. Joe Turkle. Why did I know about this guy? Thank you, Cap. Thank One of those under the radar greats, folks. Now, that's why we like to get him. And he got a spot on the legends list because they are. It's good to know who's dead. It's legit shit. It's pretty good. Who else can, died? All right, last but not least, and certainly not least in our hearts and forever, Tony Serico! No. You know him? My Sopranos guy, Pauly? Pauly, yep. You got it. Dude. Cap'n. Cap'n. Smoke it one for you, Tony. Dude, that Where's guy. Where's the guy, Yeah, that guy was so great on that show. <laughs> Pull, oh pull up a picture. Pull this up a picture of Tony Serco. Show some goddamn respect. Yeah, this guy was a legend of being a an Italian guy. Mark, man, are you getting like, offline? Mob guy, man. This guy was great. He also did uh, folks, Family Guy. Did he? Yeah, he was in Goodfellas. Yeah, he was awesome. Fucking Goodfellas. Everybody was cool in that. Right? Oh my God, Robin! I 
didn't know this made the list. I don't really remember Tony Serco in this, but I saw this movie. What was it? Hughes and Harlow. Angels in Hell. Ooh, I gotta watch that one. Save that Check on it your out. playlist. Put that on your playlist. Check baby. it out. It's about a... I don't know. It was a war movie. It was pretty good. It was all right. I saw it once. I only saw it once, but I, I didn't know Tony Serco was in that. So that's Legends, eh? Not bad, man. And why don't other programs give oh. tribute to these fallen legends of like art and sound and You mixed up my video. shit, Polo. I don't understand. Is, why is this underlined twice over here? Because Polo is fucking half fucking blind. See. He doesn't wear his glasses. And he's he's trying to deny this. He doesn't wear his glasses when he writes this shit yeah, down. What to... the fuck is wrong with both Just of you put fucks? Them on. Don't be in like denial who you are, guys. If you would even Don't smile at me because I'm them. yelling at him. He just doesn't Jeez. wear his glasses. Christmas I don't know, pants. I don't understand that. McMinner muffins. Leo, no, stay put. I didn't say shit. Next topic. Hit me. We're going to we talk got, about got, uh, SummerSlam happened. Oh. I went. You what? It was awesome. How the fuck did you get tickets? I got free tickets from the Riddler, actually. We went together and Harley. Oh, I see free went. tickets and no text for me. Got it. No, come on, it wasn't like that. I it know. Was spontaneous. No, it I was him. spontaneous. I got him. No, me and Starfire shared uh, ringside seats. They were like very expensive cab. It was like seven thousand a seat. I think. Probably the sexiest two seats in the house, if I'm not. It, it was. You you might spot us at SummerSlam if you look really closely. But the Riddler treated us, and honestly, I don't know what he's got planned that I owe him on, but. That was like fourteen thousand dollars with me and Starfire. We didn't bring the kids. Wow! Yeah, f seven grand a seat for to be ringside. Uh, you know how WWE much SummerSlam. wrestling seats were in nineteen fifty one? No. A dollar. A dollar. A dollar fifty if you wanted ringside. How much were the nosebleed seats? Nickels. I want to say ten cents. That's fucked. Don't tell me that. But basically, we were at SummerSlam. It was AWA. It was That's awesome, it. though. I don't give a shit. We didn't pay the penny. I just owe Riddler a solid favor, and it might involve some fucked up shit I'm afraid of. It. But I'm just but saying. If it involves fucking so, over Batman, we're in. Yeah, exactly. That's what I mean. It might spiral into this good thing for me. But um, <laughs> SummerSlam was awesome. So regardless, like Brock Lesnar, Roman Reigns, it was fucking fun, dude. And we had a front. Um, Starfire loved it. We had a great night after. We really went at it. It was good. Nice. It was good, yeah. <laughs> you really went at it like wrestling style. Yeah, it inspired you. <laughs> Foreign object. Did you ever go? To, <laughs> did you ever go to a wrestling event, Cap? I like, did. I used to, well, like I said, I used to go to AWA back in the fifties and sixties. That's cool. I went to uh, wait. I did go to one. It was called the WWF, but then there was some lawsuit with the panda, and I was frozen for that. I don't remember what happened yeah, there. Yeah, that's kind of a shame with the panda lawsuits. Yeah, but then, right. yeah there's a panda the lawsuit, but I remember. Foundation. I used to watch uh, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat all the time. Oh, in WrestleMania three, I just watched him with Macho Man, and that's good a, match. That's one they say. One I the, wasn't there, but I sped watched that. They say that's one of the best matches ever. Is Ricky the Steam the Dragon Steamboat versus Macho? I want to say they both probably broke a couple bones and tore some ligaments in that match. It was. I don't. I watched that and I wanted to know why it was the best, and it was honestly the it endurance. Must, it must have been because of cocaine, right? Because they were both... Like, I think there was other factors involved. But uh, I'm just saying... The, be, spiritual factors, though. That, like, too. Like even, peyote. But, yeah, like, yeah. it was like a stack. Like, it was a religious, spiritual thing that they believed they were... And then it was cocaine and peyote and, like, all these things stacked that, like, they just kept going at this Yeah, rate. it was a religious stack of drugs. And they they entertained the whole universe that night, folks. Yeah. And, and I guarantee and aliens were watching that shit. Sometimes it takes two guys that are jacked out on cocaine to just amuse us, I guess. And that's what that showcased to you me. You know, Ric Flair and Macho Man had a really good... Was it a SummerSlam match? Did you match? see that happen? Did you see that? I saw that Rick, one. No, no. Ric Flair's last match happened. And I was really worried about him having a heart attack. He's still wrestling? His last match happened. You know, at this point, the only entertaining part of Ric Flair's career would be to watch him die in the ring. Was, it have, that happened on Nitro, like, in the 90s, with that Bischoff guy, man, Bischoff. And, like, seriously, like, he had a heart attack before. That's why I couldn't believe that he had another... Well, what do you want? I mean, people always cry about race car drivers, too. It's stop. like, you're yeah, in a like, car going an 200 age, miles like, an hour, you're gonna fucking and die. And, honestly, Charlotte Flair is awesome. Like, just enjoy your daughter's wrestling, and she's really amazing. And, like, a talented performer. Charlotte Flair is fucking awesome. 
Like, and I gotta I check it out. I gotta check it out. I don't understand <clears throat> why he, that's his daughter. I don't understand why he has to wrestle. I I just don't want him to die. I guess it's like a Dale Earnhardt thing. Like, do you have to die? Like, doing what you love, man. Like, just... The best ones take that chance. Yeah, I guess that is true. The greats take the risk. He's one of the four horsemen. I can't stop him, man. He's watch any. Actually, it's on Woo! YouTube, folks, and it's awesome. I'm going to just throw this in here. Any of the Indianapolis 500s from, like, the beginning to the 70s, literally, someone died every race trying to win that race. What's this point? That was before they had all the safety measures and all that stuff, but I don't know. Good old American, like, I'm going to try to do he always have to Sorry, does he always have to wear the blazer? That's what I'm telling him. Like, I said it was too fucking hot, and look, he's not sweating. So, he's no. not. He's gonna have a lick of sweat on you his face. You know what that means, Cap? Paul is officially declared possibly an alien. How aren't you sweating in that fucking blazer? And I was bothered with it in the winter and shit, but it is the dead heat of summer, and I'm sweating in tights, and he's fucking wearing a blazer, not sweating. Bullshit. Yeah, but doesn't he look fucking finished? But I'm wearing Peter Pan gear and he like getting a little sweat though. on. He. What does he mean? Finish. Wait, no, your name's Polo. You're from South America, right? Well, just good. nod yes or fuck. I hell. just know one at the mark, but now I'm concerned. Like, yeah. Why is you he sweating? Fuck. Is this the man in black? What the fuck is he? Well, he's from South America, I though. This heat probably movies. doesn't bother him. I don't know, man. I watch a lot of movies, and this isn't going to end well with him not sweating. All I'm saying is a but, fucking alien or no, like a cyborg. But he's South American. The heat probably doesn't bother him at all. Bullshit. I know a lot of South Americans. But that's a wool fucking right. coat. That's a wool fucking coat. You're sus. You're suspect! Suspect one. Alright, Bob, we're gonna move on! We're gonna move on! Next up! But wrestling! Actually, I I look at it like boxing. I don't ever The old guys were the tough guys. They were the fun ones to watch. And honestly, guys, I'm sorry that <clears> you keep going back to that, but I'm obsessed with wrestling and it's gonna keep coming up as long as I'm on the show, man. I'm obsessed. You're gonna see him in the ring one of these days, I tell you. Damn, I'm ready to I, fucking tumble. You're crazy! Bro. All right, what do we got? All right, yeah, we got news. All right, I gotta, I gotta play the news. We can't be funny. No comedy. No jokes. Gotta play this Time straight. Time to be serious. Here Sit we up go. Straight. Here we go. Biden. Oh, I ain't gotta be serious for that. The president, yeah, he's to declare a national climate emergency, folks. What's that mean? It means that they're finally realizing that all the whales got cancer and the world's on fire. That now they gotta declare an emergency. Now that they're acting like they're going to do something. And I got to say, every single damn president since... All right, I'm going to say... Reagan. I'm going to say Reagan. Very good. Very good. I'm going to say I'm since Reagan. Yes, sir. What can I say? Every single president since then the hasn't done this. And I'm not going to give Joe Biden credit for doing it now because it's too fucking late. It's like all of a sudden like, oh, we were assholes and we're all going to die. Why didn't, um, even America never took advantage of just even simple things like the water current? In, like, Japan, they have the machines. The turbines! Yeah, the things! There's just amazing... I work. helped them rebuild after we bombed the fuck out That should really be running off the east coast of Gotham. Just the turbines. It really should! To power the whole it city. Really, there's other ways, folks! I don't understand. We don't have to destroy the planet! Even New York City, like, wouldn't you want one of your best cities in your nation to be running? efficiently off the tur natural current turbines of the ocean. That's pretty cool. I'm telling you, one of these days Mother Earth is gonna send a wave crashing right through this fucking studio and wipe out me and Robin and every human being on the planet just to say no, You know what's gonna happen, Cap? In our universe, you know what's gonna happen? In our goddamn multiverse, you know what's gonna happen? You know how you're gonna rise to power and actually do good. And they're gonna think fucking Jesus came down back from fucking heaven and shit and saved them. That's what's going to happen. We're going to do good for this world. Ladies and gentlemen, breaking news! Robin might be the next Jesus Christ, the second coming. No, I'm not Jesus. No, I'm the not. second coming of Christ can take any form. And I, who's to say it's not Robin? I just want to help everyone. Just saying. I want everyone to benefit so there's no more fucking hate. It's done. We did it. It's over. But, I mean, I mean that is news, but... Biden decided to declare a national emergency when even he himself knew it was a national emergency 30 fucking years ago. It's weird when you... It seems, mm. like, it seems like the presidents are peasants now. It's really weird. They're all fucking tools. Presidents be peasants. The generals are in charge, which I have a close relationship with them, but they ain't fucking controlling their presidents. Uh, look at the last president we had. Was there any military control there? He's coming back. I mean, we gotta keep these fuckers in check. 
Just saying. There's some crackhead. That, That's what I think. There's some crackhead. All of them. There's, All of them. There's Trump and then some... Except the natives. There's Trump and then some crackhead living outside of Brooklyn right now that's running for president. I heard this guy. He's like a junkie. <laughs> and they're equal running mates. No, he's serious. I'm serious. In the 2024 election, there's this like crackhead guy that's like running for election. Apparently, he like steals, and but he's like running. Is there a video of it? No. Damn. No, not yet. Well, we're gonna keep an eye on that, folks. We do have an election coming up in about a year and a half. I heard about it on the radar. We gotta watch out. That's the only benefit you get from being with Harley and the gang is they hear about the weirdest shit literally before, like, eight months before it happens. It's pretty crazy. Oh! What else we got to drink? Robin, tell me a freaking story! I want to go get another drink! Okay. You need one? Uh, no thank you. You're I good? still have the hard stuff in this one, so I'm <laughs> I think it's time, guys. It's, uh, it's time for a little circus story. Are you ready? Oh! Are you ready for it? Are you ready? Where's my glass? <clears throat> what you're doing? You're dancing. Hey, we're fun. telling the news, but we're having fun. I'm There's no reason girl. this can't be fun. I'm glad you're dressed so you don't have a heat stroke, too, with this heat. It's a heat wave. No, no, I love but my summer uniform. Time for a circus story, guys. You ready? These are a little different, you know? Each time, I'm kind of like telling you things that maybe I shouldn't. And like, it should be a secret to the circus life. So I'm really hesitant of what I tell you now, now that I think of it. But uh, tonight, I'll unleash a little story. I'll dig that. Want to hear a circus story, Cap? You know I do, baby! Alright. I'm going to take you back. Riffers! I want to oh. take you back to 1986, Cap. Okay? 1986, Ohio. I was frozen in 86, please enlighten me. Ohio, we were outside the Great Lakes. This was after like all those Woodstocks and all the hippies seemed to retreat to the Ohio area. And we had a tent thrown up in the circus in the late season. Oh, wait, wait, it was like the 20 years after Woodstock hippies? Yeah. Ooh, those guys are well, rough. Like 10 or 15. And the ladies. 10 or 15. But, um, they don't shave and shit. Oh, my God. And this was right before the school season. That's when you hit them hard, bro. What happened with the circus industry? You hit them hard before that school shit starts. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Before they start money, baby. Yeah, before they start reading books and learning shit, <laughs> you want to. That's throw good some... business, baby. It is. <laughs> good business, baby. And uh, we threw a tent in Ohio, but it got a. Uh, it got weird quick because um, every Ohio citizen that came in, they took their pants off. And we've never seen this, even in Europe, when those people love to be naked. Wait, they came, like, into the, like... No, like, casually, though, like, even families... Was this in the parking lot, Either or was it, like... fucking kids, like, casually, they just took their... It was wrong. They just but, like, did they do it when they got out of their cars? No, or? like, as, as like, you rip the ticket... Right? Come in, right before you're by your seat, like, say this was my seat, you walk all the way in, you rip the ticket, you go to your row, the fucking seating... Right, seating, right, 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 yeah. Pants dry. Whoa! Sit down. That's what happened. That sounds like something straight out of <laughs> Mythical Encounters. No, and by the shit. time Jesus we came Christ. out, imagine me coming out with my sister and my fucking mom and my dad, and we're just trying to do trapeze shit, like and amuse them, and we're like, you guys probably thought you were gonna get like jail. No, something was weird. We're like, yo, why is everyone not have pants on? Like, what the fuck? Is this a joke? We and thought, that was dangerous. We thought it was fall. a joke. It was. Yeah, it was a psych out. And I was lucky that night. My hands were so oily. I was lucky I didn't slip from that thing. And I did go. My sister, though, she Why was good. Why are your hands so oily? My sister, because I was busy. But my sister, <laughs> she was so good at it, the trapezing, that she saved me that night. I would have died that night because of these guys taking their pants off. Everyone had their pants off. Because, yeah, but what if, fucking kids, if that everyone. didn't happen, let's go back to the oil in the hands thing. That doesn't matter. That's irrelevant. I'm saying everyone took their pants off. No, that's right, because they used to have them all the time. Who cares if my hands... We used to do that all the time. The, I'm going to go the with the pants theory. Not all the time. The pants was rare, but my hands being oily weren't. Oh! Oh! I love it! Cheers! <laughs> to the circus. Every guy... You wouldn't hear a circus story, Cap. I can't help how they no, are. No, I, I don't even want to tell you and guys I these stories. Say, there's a lot of them. Every man, it doesn't matter I'm if you're hiding. from the 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 2000s, millenniums, whatever. Millennials, you fucking pussies. Next time I want to go back in the closet when I tell them stories. 
It doesn't matter which one you are. You all have the same urges. You can't. It's human hide animal who you nature. Are. You can't hide in the closet of those stories. You can't. There's so many of them stories. I'm glad I get to tell some, and you guys listen. Thank you. I'm sorry they're. Like, Thank you for telling them because I'm the world sorry. Needs to know. I'm sorry they're kind of weird. We could all do without the magic stories. I do stories, feel better after saying. And we pray for you. I feel better. No, Thank it's always good to get it out. You gotta talk about things. Thank you for the prayers. And I'm sorry I get so angry, folks. I get angry all the time, but I care about the planet. I mean, I am all access with Captain America, but I care about more than just America. Yeah, like my ass on the line. That too. <laughs> all right, we're gonna move on. Unless you have more to add to your circus. Not tonight, not tonight, that was guys. enough. That's enough for I enough. feel that's like enough. That's enough. speaking for the audience, that was enough. No, that's enough for the circle. <laughs> See you next time. Other news, folks. We got more news coming. It's always coming in. News is always coming in. It's always coming in. Will you people stop being so fucked? I don't always want fresh stuff. I don't want right? to say all this news. Fresh stuff coming up. A mysterious bundle of string has been found on Mars. You're fucking around. I'm not fucking you, around. Real me? story. Google it. Google it. Fucking with me. Get. A string, no. a string, string, a bundle. A bundle of, like, mysterious string was captured on video or camera by a Mars rover. Somebody's quilting on Mars. Yeah, but I'm telling you, this is the sad... We got this... I I feel like this should be an Earth Day episode, folks. Mm. You know, my God, everybody's like, the scientists are like, telling everybody, oh, well, what is it? We don't know what it is. You know damn well what it is. You keep taking garbage wherever the fuck you can dump it. Yeah, I'm concerned for the other uh, species of existence in the universe. That Earth's just... not good enough to destroy. we got to destroy the moon and Mars while we're at it. No way, that'll fuck up the access and make the... Well, that's obviously what they're doing because there's trash on all those places. Bottom of the ocean, the moon, Mars, human garbage. Humans <laughs> never figured out what to do with trash. You burn it, you bastards! Isn't that our biggest issue? And if you burn it, put it under the hole in the ocean that's already there! The smoke will escape! You don't Dip burn shit. it! You don't burn it, you put it in that fucking acne tub in Disney World that they put Roger Rabbit cartoons in. Oh! That's see, how, now that would work! No, that's how we're supposed to get rid of real garbage, and they just, like, for some reason, Disney, nope. I think, has the copyright on that. Like, Robin! Goo. I'm serious, that goo? That yeah. shit, that killed cartoons. Like, why wouldn't it kill my old toilet? You know what I mean? Like, what do you think happened to Jimmy Hoffa? Fucking Roger Rabbit. Roger dude. Rabbit. The go. Roger Rabbit and Jimmy Hoffa, same dude. I'm gonna have to Tell remake you. that movie too, oh. Roger, just to showcase the goo. The goo's real. <laughs> it's acne, dude. I was at the fucking place. I believe it. It's real, Cap. But well, why are humans so? Let me, I want to share this with you since we're on the topic. I wish this is not the Earth Day episode, folks, but in the 50s, the government shut down one of my greatest ideas, Robin. You know what it was? What's that? A massive incinerator. For the what? size of like 10 football fields. For what? For burning garbage. But uh. hear me out. Filters stacked in a 10,000 high... Foot high tube. I don't give a shit how. Oh, that's what the Dallas Cowboys Stadium. The scientists Stadium. figure it out. No, that's what the idea. Dallas Cowboys Stadium is supposed to be for. Right. Yeah. You could burn garbage the, in and just dome it out and filter it. Yeah, and then you filter You're it. Not wrong. That's pretty cool. But when the filters get clogged and dirty from all the smoke, the Cowboys come in. No, you take the filters out, throw new filters in, put the old filters in the incinerator. How's Emmett Smith in? That way, at the end of human existence. And the Smith comes. No! At the end of human existence, the only trash that would be left are the filters left in that tube. The last filters. It's kind of scary that the Dallas Cowboys Stadium is our last chance to... Like, the Dallas Cowboys Stadium should be turned into a massive incinerator, folks! It should be a waste of And that's not against the team! No, Even it's though a... Jerry Jones is a fucking old racist douchebag! It's clearly a waste management facility that hasn't been utilized, though, right? Is that what we're talking about? Am I allowed about? to say that? Don't... You can say anything you want in this program until they shut <laughs> off. They shut off whatever they want, man. Fuck the back, I cancel. And, and considering so the Cowboys haven't won a title in, like, 30 years... The only people that are... Every year should use the stadium to save mankind! The only people that are gonna have trouble... Listening to what you said are in the French territories that we got canceled in. Right! And they're dealing Everyone with else. wildfires right now because we're not doing what I said we should do. And if we're French, if you're French, 
we're not upset with you. But for some reason, algorithmically, the robots think that we can't appeal to you. So I'm sorry. And we actually like you. But the robots think we don't. Yeah, so. Robin's kind of speaking for himself. There. I'm just saying the robots put a wedge in us with the French. Oh, you hate... You don't want it. I don't... Hate's a very strong world. I don't like to use it. I like everyone. They're not the... They don't treat people the best. They're there might be a they're, Frenchman they're that shows rude. up one day to help you in a time of need. Can I mean, we deny that? Can we Can we not say that? There might be a Frenchman that shows up to help you. Not historically. In any no, my like shield that. helped dozens and they never said thank you once. Well, times have changed. That's, times have, maybe, yeah, but you maybe the, it's all about Maybe they're three. cool now, but in yeah, the 40s, saying, I was like, oh, come change. on, why can't they fend for themselves? Maybe they grew, and I'm just saying it's all about Act 3. Maybe they'll pounce in it. They there. had better guns! Maybe with this Russia-Ukraine thing, they'll jump in. You'll just see a bunch of French guys all of a sudden, and then it'll be all cool. France, that would be redemption! Yeah, that, and then it'd be like, what Come the on, fuck? show up! Talk about left field men show up. catching the ball. France! Play the game! Everybody's series, playing baby. chess but you! Yeah, let's play, baby. <laughs> Move that pawn. What else we got for Rob? What else we got for tonight? We gotta wrap this show up. That's true. We've been going. It's going hot. It's a hundred degrees here. It's it fun. is. It's like ninety four in here today with the fan on. But uh, yeah. All right, musical guest. We got the fruit baskets. <laughs> hey, didn't they used to be the fruit bats? The fruit bats is what they started, at, but then I think they got a new member who played keyboard, and they became the fruit baskets. Cool. Yeah. With their, uh, the Fruit Baskets, with their new, uh, debut single, Banana Phone. Roll it, Polo. I dig it. Banana Phone, you make me feel good in the morning. There's not enough songs that are positive like that, so I dig it. Did you know this is the first time I think anybody in Yo. history is going to say this, Robin? What's that? It's a shame it's not 1989 on MTV. That is a shame, because that shit would blow up, right? That would be Overnight. the number one video. Overnight. Overnight. Right? Yep. Yeah. That would that would make the cars seem like the fucking golf carts. <laughs> Just saying. And instead of a hot chick being on the front, it'd be like a midget on like a fucking like Dodge Neon, right? <laughs> that'd be funny that'd be kind of funny good times we'll get Beetlejuice from the Howard Stern show to do it it'll be good oh, I want to get Michael Keaton Beetlejuice that's what I want but he's not a midget you need a midget yeah but they could do the Hobbit trick with him that's true They could. that would be awesome Green Beetlejuice as a m Hobbit Hobbit I'm sorry I just imagine a midget in denim we're supposed to say little people we can't oh, be yeah. funny anymore folks that's right you can't say a midget no I don't we gotta be serious or let me do the edit. I'll pretend it didn't happen. The little people in denim. That doesn't sound better. It doesn't sound... It sounds more demeaning, I think, to me. Yeah, I think I'd actually rather be called a midget. Maybe we should I ask, like... I feel like midget like, is more like... Yeah, I'm a midget, motherfucker. Who the fuck are you? I like kind of right? midget. It's like Widget, and he was That's really... That's I did. Remember Widget? He was really smart. 
And but I'm just saying, like Warwick Davis, I think we should ask him what he thinks, and that's how we should go by it. Like, do you like midget or little people? And we'll just see what Warwick. Thinks. We gotta ask Warwick Davis. And widgets cool. Warwick, reach out. Come on this show. We'll give it. We'll. we'll uh, I'm sure. Pull up. Pull up a picture of Warwick. These guys are fucking dumb, but I'm sure they can give us some snacks. Legend. Pull up a pic of uh, Widget. Legend. Look at it. Legend. It's purple, guys. Come on. Look at Everything it. Everything purple was cool in the world. Okay? That's just a fact. Everything that was purple was cool. Amen to that, Reverend. I'm empty. Last thing. Marco! Hello! Thanks for the rum. Thanks for the ride, right? All right, Last folks. Thing. This is it. Wrapping it up. Wrapping it up, guys. I Drum hope you enjoyed. It's a good can, one, right? Yeah, we can all relate to that. Right. Or if all a right. guy. Or if a guy, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's make it modern. Fair. Right? We'll put LGBTAQB right. minus plus YX whatever Z. NYC. <clears throat> whatever you are. Oh, Robin, what do you put at number five? Uh, number five is Bob Dylan. It ain't me, babe. I'm going to 100% agree with that choice. Because it's not number one. But number five? I'm putting that at number five. When a girl takes all your shit and it leaves. Me, oh, no, no, no. It ain't me, babe. No, no, no. It ain't me. Oh, it ain't me, babe. And that's probably better than he saying because he was a horrible fucking vocalist, but a good writer. It was. You yeah, know, Bob they used that song really good in St. Vincent. That's true. It ain't me, right babe. Right at the end there. It was He's good. a horrible writer for Christmas albums, but other than that, it's good. Number four. I'm gonna give, uh, I'm gonna throw out number four. I'm gonna throw out Pat Benatar with Heartbreaker. Did you sleep with her like every other woman in history that you've slept with? I wish. Yeah, that never uh, I'm not trying Fine. to be. I found one. That I'm you not trying to be sexist or anything, you didn't but go to Pat the movies. Benatar was hot. You can have fries or shake with her and go to the movies and fucking bang her titties or something. She's like too young for me, probably. All these other... You were frozen then. When were she frozen. was at the height of her career, I was probably like 67, dude. But you were frozen. Not the whole time. I liked her music. I never met her. Cool. I, I never found, met her. I'd I like to. I finally found one, guys, that he didn't fucking I'm happily sleep married with. and everything, but I would still say well, hi and meet you. You realize you slept with most of the chicks from the Legends. Do you realize that? Well, the chicks from the 40s and 50s... Alright, well, Pat gets... There's not a lot of 80s or 90s on my list. I never slept with her. I can't say that. <laughs> Who's number three? Number three. What do you got? What do you What do you think? Uh, number three... Uh, One of my favorite songs... Tough. I think comes in here. Like, if your chick's throwing you out... All your Taking shit. all your shit. All later. your shit, right? Yeah. It's uh, The Outfield with Your Love. That's a good one. That's a good song. If this was America's Got Talent, I'd ring that buzzer and be like, yeah, you're right. You're right, you're in. Turn around and talk <clears throat> it over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Your Love by the Outfields, number three, bro. Hmm. So that brings us to number two. We're coming down to the wire. We gotta make intelligent. What's number decision. two, Cat? I'm gonna give it to I'm gonna give it to Beat It from Michael Jackson. We kinda have to. Michael Jackson's an engineer. Beat it, audio god. Beat it! Beat it! Beat it! Beat it! I like to beat Marco and Polo! <laughs> it's almost Saturday, you bitches! Beat <laughs> it! So who yeah. can we I like you agree? Michael. I love Michael Jackson, yeah. So we're gonna give him the number two. Alright, let's go with number one! Well, we got what we got. Oh, oh! I love it! Our number <laughs> one would be... Number one! What's in this, top five? Oh, Robin, that's a tough, tough... I mean, the number one spot on any top five is basically like being a legend. We have to give a letterman... Right? We have to give a letterman to this one because it's a top five. You ready? It's Foreigner. Foreigner getting a letterman. I want to know what love what is. What song? I was going to say, what song? I want to know what love is. Oh. I want you to show me. I want to feel what love is. Sex. 
Exactly. Right. I want you to blow me. Oh, sorry. Let it roll over. Heads up, the chance. <laughs> oh, gosh. All right, folks, that's about wraps it up. I think we made it through. I'm sorry for the French territories who couldn't watch this. Hey, yeah, that's your good. loss. Right, you your might loss. have to move down the road to Bourbon Street, but you can watch this later. We had a great episode, episode 25. Guys, we want you to have a safe and happy summer. It's hot as fuck. And keep the air conditioners keep the on. Air, or stay under a shaded tree, stay in the water or something, but not the ocean. The Time to go everywhere. fight more crime, because that's the only thing I got to do these <sighs> days. It's too hot to fight crime, but we gotta do it. Guys, you might see me in the wrestling ring. I've been training. He's been working on it. Jumping off of turnbuckles. So I'll see you there. That's it, cat. All right, have a good night, everybody. Woo! Your fucking summer. You know, Jason Stratham is pretty fucking sexy. I don't care what universe you're from, DC, Marvel, or Department of Transportation. Hit that notification bell, like and subscribe, and buy our stuff. Like and subscribe. Bottles of subscription.